CISO Choice Awards Vendor Recognition with Richard Steenan. Hi, Richard Steenan here, and I want to welcome Roy Eliahu, who is the CEO of Salt Security. And welcome, Roy. It's great to have you here. Yeah, thank you, Richard. It's uh, great to be here. Congratulations on winning the CISO's Choice Award. That's a great honor. Thank you so much. And um, let's jump in and introduce us to SALT and the whole world of API security, because it's, you know, it's almost as if, hey, there's this huge thing out there that we didn't know we had to worry about. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden we are worrying about it. Yeah, so um, where can I start? So, uh, you know, my background is being in security for a very long time. I, I served in the military, in the IDF, in the elite security units. And I was in charge there to build a cybersecurity system at scale to defend the military infrastructure. And what happened in the last few years that APIs tremendously changed. Uh, we used to have just a very few APIs that are very static and do not expose a lot of sensitive data, right? We were not as digital uh, as we are today, but things shifted and companies started to be more digital. COVID accelerated that. You know, every aspect of our life, our web apps, our mobile apps, microservices, moving to Kubernetes and uh, service mesh, integrating between companies, all of that basically drove uh, exponential growth of APIs with a lot of sensitive data behind them. So when we had just a few APIs that are very static and do not expose much, you know, a lot of sensitive data, you can kind of manually work on their security. You can tune your different tools you have from gateways and WAFs to basically tune them a little bit and to check them, do a pen test once a year because you have one, you know, a change or a big release once a year. But now we have thousands of those that are changing every day and you have much bigger price for an attacker. So that's changed the game uh, because your attack surface is, went from, you know, just a house with a single door and a guard to a few buildings with a lot of doors and windows. And still you have a single guard because uh, the security team do not scale the amount of APIs. And I realized that there is something that needs to be changed because the, the way that traditionally uh, solution were uh, architected uh, were not a good fit for the new world of APIs and their dynamic nature. Uh, they were architected as a very proxy-based approach that were inspired by the firewall approach that looking at every, every individual transaction. When we look at APIs, and the nature, um, uh, the complex nature of API attacks that are much more low and slow, you realize, uh, or we realize that you need big data for it. You need to see the bigger picture. Without seeing the bigger picture, you are not be able to see there is an attack. And it wasn't possible until big data and ML became production ready around 2015, 2016. And this is, this is the time when we started SALT and we said, you know, there is a huge problem. It's only gonna grow. We are not gonna be less digital in a few years. Um, uh, so we need to solve it and we started and, you know, uh, and as we said, it's, it's definitely out there and we see more and more incidents. Yeah. So walk me through salt solution, right? How do you, you know, what does a customer get from using salt that actually can improve their security? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So what they can get is it's first of all, start with how we connect to their environment. So we said proxy based approach is not the right approach because you have latency, it's very hard deployment. Also agency is not the right approach because it's very hard to maintain engines. So instead we built a lot of different connectors that can connect to any cloud environment, to any network infrastructure, uh, microservices, legacy applications, to connect to all of them and, and to get all of this uh, API traffic without being in line, without requiring agents and get up and running in just literally a few minutes. We can get it, I can do it, you know, uh, I mean, any customers I always tell them they can do it on the same call. Um, once we get up and running, everything from there is fully automated. We will automatically, using our big data-based uh, architecture, which we call our API context engine, we run our core ML on top of it, and we're doing three main things with it. The first one is that we discover all API instantly, instantly across the entire environment, internal APIs, external APIs, coming from on-prem, different cloud environments, service mesh, Kubernetes, literally you name it. And we give them a full map of all of their APIs and all the data going through those APIs and all sensitive data going through those APIs. So typically the first reaction is, whoa, you know, about 40% of our APIs are, are not documented. So we, you know, uh, discovered a lot of shadow APIs for us. So that's the first thing, understanding your attack surface. If you don't understand your attack surface, it's impossible to protect it. 
The second thing that we are doing is runtime protection because you need someone uh, in production, right? Guard your APIs and detect all of these slow and low attacks that attackers are probing slowly your APIs over the course of days and weeks and detecting all of these slight deviations of normal behavior and then block them. So the core IP of SALT is that we extract from the API communication hundreds of different behavioral attributes on the API. And what is normal behavior for each and every API? Because every API is unique. It's not off the shelf products. It's not Windows. It's not Active Directory. Uh, so you really need to understand the business logic and behavior of every API. And that's what, how we leverage our core IP, which is ML-based, to do all of this profiling and baselining, and then detect attackers in production in real time, trace all their, uh, all their steps back to the source and block at the source. So that's how we protect APIs at produ in production. The last component is kind of complete the entire loop because it's not enough to protect after the fact or discover after the fact. You need to embed security as part of your dev lifecycle. So from the moment you design your APIs and you have API definitions to the moment you test your API in your staging or testing environment, all the way to production when you have them and you want to detect all these misconfiguration gaps, you want to release more secure API. So we embed ourselves into the CICD through all the different points from design, test, and all the way to production. Uh, to embed security as part of the development lifecycle. So you can release and build more secure APIs and discover all these vulnerabilities and gaps ahead of time. But then in production, have active protection to discover any APIs that slip for some reason to production or attackers probing your APIs because you cannot rely on just securing everything in advance. There's always going to be something will be missed. So that's why you need another layer of security. So that's in a super uh, high level. Wow, that was great. So you mentioned big data a couple of times. Um, just how big is the data for a typical customer? Yeah, so for APIs, it's uh, it's enormous, right? If you think about the, the company, of course, it will vary between, you know, the B2B, the B2C, but overall, uh, it's no longer these one and done attacks that when you can see one API call at a time, look for SQL injection, and then if it's not, you know, go to the next one. You need to watch users for days and for weeks, and it requires a lot of context. And uh, that's how we leverage our cloud scale big data. So we can see all the user traffic. It can be billions of billions of calls uh, that happen over the course of you know, a month, uh, depends on the company. And we are tracking all their behavior, again, across all of the steps and previous uh, attempts uh, for every individual user in real time and making decisions in real time. So I think that's kind of the core part that a lot of companies are missing, which is, it's not enough to look at every individual request. It's not enough to track the last minute. You need to track it you know, a week before, two weeks before, because you, know, you can have cred stuffing that happens over the course of a minute, but most attackers are a bit more sophisticated. They will do it more low and slow. They will try it over the course of a day and do one API call at a time or do one attempt at a time. And if you are not able to capture all of that, you'll simply, you know, it will go under the radar. So that's kind of the core uh, difference and advantage that SALT has because we built it to scale uh, from day one. We built it in microservices and big data from day one to be able to scale to this level of um, um, correlation across time where kind of more other tools or solutions are just built to more inspired by the traditional approach. Getting traffic, yes, in a different way, but still doing this you know, one by one analysis versus seeing the bigger picture. From what you described on the ease of deployment, it's probably pretty easy for somebody to reach out to you and quickly get on a call with the sales engineer and figure out, you know, deploy and figure out just how big the problem they're facing is. Yeah, absolutely. We That's one of our core emphasis because the reality, regardless of how much good of product you have, if you cannot easily deploy it without agents, without the need to change code or to add latency or proxies, it just, it's not gonna work, right? So we put a lot of emphasis over the last few years to make our deployment extremely simple and also to be able to be plug and play to every environment uh, because it's not enough to have plug and play for just AWS as an example, right? Because then you can cover your uh, uh, cloud account. What about all your on-prem application? What about you know, G Suite? What about other uh, technologies that you need to protect? So we made a lot of different connectors so we can plug, uh, plug it in very quickly 
without creating any risk, without creating latency, without changing code, without needing the developers of this app, anything uh, of that sort. And all of our deployment to date happened remotely, even before COVID. We just did it on a Zoom call, get it up and running, and then just log into the dashboard and see all of the insights. You know, there's nothing need, needed more than that. Wow, this is great. Thank you so much, Roy. And congratulations once again on the recognition from the CISO's Choice Awards. Um, and thanks for filling us in on what SALT does. Thank you very much, Richard. Really appreciate the, the honor of getting the award. Stay tuned for more from CISO's Connect.